Hello everyone, the original Ginger here with a brand new Let's Play series of a game that I've probably spent an hour on, all total in my entire life. Um, a few months back, I played it for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, just to kind of see what it was about, and I liked it a lot, but didn't get around to actually playing it, and then I did about a five minute test video of it just a little bit ago, just to make sure my sound and everything and video was good. And this is, as you can see, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically going to be a blind LP. And we'll go ahead and call ourselves Ginger, because as good a name as any, I suppose. It really makes no difference whatsoever to the game. And I was considering maybe doing Super Mario Bros. 2, the All-Stars version. Um... For a while, I was considering a couple of NES games, and also a different Castlevania game for the Game Boy Advance, Aria, Sor Aria of Sorrow, but I've been meaning to play this game for a while, so I figured I'd give it a shot and see how I do with a blind LP. And I don't know if doing a game like this that's open-ended is that good of an idea for a blind LP or not, we'll see what happens, but I'll go ahead and finish it, one way or the other, there's no reason not to. I figured that this would be good for a little bit of variety, since both the other games that I'm doing right now are more modern type 3D rendered games, and this one's a 2D side-scrolling sprite-based game. And I really like this image here of the castle and the full moon. That's very cool. So that's a little bit of story. And then here are some dialogue where we get a little bit more. And here we meet uh, you stay and Maxim. And basically... Maxim and uh, someone who's apparently your friend named Liddy were traveling or something and Maxim wakes up all busted and bruised and uh, seems to have lost Liddy in or near this castle here so we've come here to try to find her and uh, Maxim says that he is injured and can't go on right at the moment but we'll be following as soon as he is able, and has sent us in. So, Al, so let's get on with the quest, I suppose. And I'm pretty sure you can't do anything to this guy, and you just have to run away. Like I said, the very beginning of this game, I've already done just a little bit ago. So I'll know where a couple of early items that I'd like to get are, but but by the time we get about to the first save point, it, it won't be anything that I've done. Okay, here we can get a piece of armor. And then right up here we've got some boots. Well, I believe there's a place we can drop through the floor here to get something, too. So I guess it's not entirely blind, and this, e and this episode's only, only going to be partially blind. But within just a few minutes here, we're going to get to... Huh. You know, we'll keep the, the knives for now. I don't really know how the Bible works in this one. We'll experiment with that later. I'll let you know when we get to the point in the game that I didn't just do. And you know, if I can, I might try to take a different path than I did before. I don't know how, how linear the first portion of the game actually is, so we'll see. And those zombies there are probably... 
I don't think I went this way before, but those zombies there are probably infinite. You know what? No, let's try out whatever this hand is. Okay, yeah, I didn't go this before, this way before, because I didn't get this. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background, but they're fighting over the couch. Hey, there's our first level. Okay, let's find out what, what we just got. Well, let's equip up some of the stuff we just collected first. Then... Okay. No. Ah, uh, it's a relic. Okay, allows the user to recognize how much damage an enemy has received. Was it just showing that? Was it not showing that before? Huh. Well, that's nice to be able to see, at least. I did go on IGN guides and look at the uh, basic techniques page just so I could kind of see what was available in the game and so that I wasn't just completely stupid about the controls and everything. Ow. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. This of Fury, man. I'm liking that statue too, that's cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the the blue shadow or whatever that's following him. Hey, here's a save point. Let's go ahead and use it. Yeah, this is where I stopped when I did my test. So I guess everything from here on out is is going to be blind. Okay, what's up here? Cool, heart max up. I'm liking the fact that this is... Okay, that looks like a dead end. I'm liking the fact that this is more like a... traditional... um... Castlevania game as far as you've got your... whip and then the classic sub-weapons, at least for the most part. I'm sure there are a few extra new ones in there or whatnot. I mean, those fists are new. I don't remember that ever being in a Castlevania game before. But I haven't played all of them either. So I don't know. color of my soul. Yeah, I'm a Belmont. Look at the size of Death's scythe there. That's awesome. I want a scythe like that. That'd be fantastic. The power here is not Dracula's. That's very strange. Yeah, he got away. I don't think we could've beat him at this point anyway. What do we have here? Castle map. How do I get to my map? What's this? Oh, I can I can quick save? That's cool. Now oh, there's the map. Alright. Cool. Twenty-five dollars, that's nice. 
Ow. Well, I'm not doing the best on health. Hey, there's 25 more dollars. Well, that's right next to a door, too. If need be, we could, uh, probably grind for dollars there. Can I push this block? I can. Awesome. That's a really odd pushing animation. He's just running against it, and it's like slowing him down. That's strange. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, well, that should have hit him more than once. Ow. Hey, there's another level. Awesome. So that should put us at around level 3. Unless for some reason we stopped, started a level that's higher than level 1, which wouldn't make much sense. And I guess some people weren't too fond of the music in this game. Oh, what do we have here? Ice book. Is that a spell book? I saw that in the menu. Spell book. Ice book. When combined with a sub weapon, user can cast many ice spells. Let's give it a shot. Huh, interesting. Let's turn that back off. I wonder if there's a way to, like, quickly switch that on and off without having to go to the menu. I don't know if there are any free buttons to do that with, though. I don't want to waste up my magic every time I want to use a sub-weapon. Oh well. We'll see. Maybe I'll look that up between videos or something. I mean, even though it's a blind LP, I mean, I don't want to miss out on moves and things that I can do. I just don't want to know my path, if that makes sense. Maybe I could look around on the net and just find the manual and take a look at it. Okay, that looks like a boss door. I don't have much for for health right now. Oh look, here's a save point. That should heal me. Okay. Well, you know what? We're at about 14 minutes now, so why don't I go ahead and call this a video here, and uh, I will see you next time on Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Is that the name of this? Yeah, okay. Harmony of Dissonance. And, uh, yeah, this has been the original Ginger, and thank you for watching.